Hello and welcome to eMetrotel. Today's topic is an introduction to the Galaxy Mini, a hardware overview. My name is Brad Ford. I'm product manager at eMetrotel. My contact information is there. eMetrotel has offered a range of unified communications and collaboration products for small, medium, and enterprise cu customers for over 10 years. We sell our product globally but the company operations is primarily based in North America. I am actually based in Calgary, same location where I spent almost 15 years in the BCM and North Star product management team at Nortel Networks. Over the last year, we've introduced a number of new hardware platforms for customers of all sizes to meet their current business needs and their budgets. Today, I'm gonna to share some of the details on the Galaxy Mini product. First, I should provide a quick overview of the eMetrotel product line, starting with our UCX software. Our flagship product has been our UCX software for unified communications and collaboration. UCX software provides a feature-rich telephony engine for small, medium business customers as well as enterprise customers. Unlike other providers, our software is common across all platforms, including cloud, premise-based, and virtual machines for enterprise class deployments. One of the key aspects of our software has been our focus on economic customer migration from existing systems. We also have a family of user interfaces branded as our Infinity series. Portfolio of telephones, including our Infinity 5000 series XTIM IP phones, our 5006, our 5010, and our 5046 key expansion module. In addition, we also offer our Infinity One collaboration interface for soft phone messaging and video. Works on Windows, Macs, Linux, iOS, and Android. From a hardware perspective, we offer our Galaxy portfolio. The portfolio consists of Galaxy Expand chassis and 11 slot platform, which provides broad flexibility for designing systems for large enterprise customers. We also have our Galaxy UCX 250, which is a call processing appliance designed for small to mid-sized office and branch locations of up to 100 stations. We have our Galaxy Express, which is an economical two-slot chassis to provide TDM interface support or to analog uh, and digital interface support at all sites or branches with an enterprise network. And finally, there's the Galaxy Mini an appliance style platform designed to provide an optimized solution for the small end or less than 32 user market. So focusing specifically on the Galaxy Mini, Galaxy Mini is suited for any customer seeking small size on-premise system. These kind of customers typically don't wanna be bothered with internet, voice over IP capabilities, or can't deal with the fact that they have poor bandwidth at their location. Uh, they also may have wiring for digital telephones as opposed to ethernet drops at all locations. Uh, the cost of modifying that wiring is greatly prohibitive to deploying IP-based solutions. This makes the uh, Galaxy Mini ideal for Northstar Kicks 3x8 and BCM50 replacements. It's driven by our focus on Northstar BCM set compatibility. The base configuration of the Galaxy Mini is automatically equipped with licenses for 32 either Infinity XTIM phones or Northstar BCM digital phones. So looking specifically at the hardware, the front view, you can see that there's a number of interfaces we have power and run indicators. We have a music on hold jack. 
Music on Hold allows external source to be used for various music on hold situations. Uh, we also do actually offer streaming audio capability for music on hold, or you can upload files directly to the Galaxy Mini to use in that situation. We also have an overhead speaker output, just like the BCM and Northstar. This allows you to page to a speaker jack that would be connected to an impedance matching transformer and on to a overhead speaker system. Accessing the page would be done through a feature code or a special key sequence as programmed in the UCX software. We also have a USB interface for backups. So backups can be generated from a Galaxy Mini or applied to a Galaxy Mini through this interface. We also have the ability to record backups directly to the Galaxy Mini storage. And then there's two Ethernet ports. Typically, we'll use the WAN interface for uh, connecting to a customer LAN, enabling management or IP phones to be connected through that. Uh, the LAN port can sometimes be used in special scenarios where you may want to run your digital interface equipment on a dedicated LAN segment. And then finally, we have eight RJ11 jacks that are equipped with either FXS or FXO modules. The FXS being for station side interfaces and the FXO for connecting to carrier analog trunks. Each Galaxy Mini can be equipped with up to two FXS or FXO modules. The modules themselves are either four port modules or a single port module. You may not even need any modules if you're deploying this as an all IP based SIP trunking interface. When looking at the rear view of the Galaxy Mini, there's simply a power input. We're next gonna look at an actual Galaxy Mini chassis where I open the box. I'll show you the interior components. We'll replace one of the modules in it and then we'll close it back up. Opening the chassis. In order to be able to change the FXS and FXO configurations, we're going to have to remove six screws from the box. There are three on each side. I have already removed five of the screws, but you can see that there are three located on this side and three located on this side. I will remove the last one. Now, the box is ready to be opened, but it's really important to make sure that the RJ11 jacks here do not catch on the metal chassis. So it's important to slide the box forward just a tiny bit from the back edge, and then tip the front panel up and out of the way. Now with the box open, you can clearly see that we have one half the box focused on the call processing side uh, with the various input panel jacks that we talked about earlier. Uh, it's also got a battery. The battery provides a graceful shutdown for power outages. That's its primary purpose. The other half of the box over here is the physical interface, the, the analog interface ports, uh, using what are referred to as DADI cards, D-A-H-D-I. You can read about it in our documentation uh, to understand exactly how that works uh, and how it's configured. But uh, the important thing is that there are four different positions that cards can fit in. The two on the front are for four port cards. There are also actually two on the rear that can use our one port cards. If you're using a combination of 
two port or two single port cards they would go both on either side back here they can be fxo fxs or a combination uh, same as with the fxo four port cards uh, and fxs four port cards they would be on the front half they can either be the same or uh, different if you were installing an fxo four port along with a one port card you would place them diagonally because the ports that are associated with this side of the uh, one port location are the same ports and physical jacks as the four port uses so i'll try and get a better view of that uh, and you can see the cards the rj11 jacks in front uh, and you know this position would use the same as same jack as this so you cannot have one on top of each other i have removed the fxo and fxs card that was in the chassis before and you can see that there's a single screw post for each of the four slots to install it uh, one you you'd simply remove the screw take one of your cards for this is a four port fxs uh, make sure you note the position of the small jack and the uh, other set of pins and line them up appropriately with the similar grouping on the board the long one and the short one for the four port uh, it's quite more dramatic on the uh, the one port card slots you line it up gently rock it into place and insert the screw and the card is installed not all slots have to be filled up you could have just a four port fxs uh, configuration if you that's what your customer desires the easiest way to replace the cover is to set the cover down on the table and notice the position of the three tongues on the back of the chassis there are two corresponding ones on the bottom of the main part of the chassis as well you line them up so you can visually see them lined up and simply just tip the box together and it goes back into position you make sure that it's firmly in place the holes are aligned and then you insert the screws and the final thing to show today is the location of the wall mounting screw holes there are three on the panel on the back panel two on one side one on the other simply select a screw that will fit within that hole in the larger hole uh, with a shaft that's narrow enough to fit through the small slot once it's in place you can shift the chassis uh, left or right or up or down depending on how you've mounted it and it will firmly lock in place so after looking at the galaxy mini chassis we'll now spend time focused at the different devices that we offer for providing digital station interfaces one of the key differentiating capabilities of the eMetrotel product line in general that's very powerful for the small business market, particularly in Canada, where there are still a significant number of Northstar and BCM installations, is our ability to connect the Nortel M and T series digital telephones, giving us backwards compatibility to the large Northstar BCM installed base. Many of the widely used Northstar and BCM features 
have the same user interface on the UCX software implementation, and some even offer enhanced capabilities. For example, ad hoc conferencing was limited to three legs on a call on a North Star BCM. But in the UCX, it's limited only by the number of extensions and trunks available. We interface to these sets using either a DSM-16 module, which is our older technology. We also have our Galaxy Express chassis. The chassis itself has two slots that can be used for a variety of different interfaces. Here, I'm showing it with two DSM-16 P cards, P for pluggable, and that would provide a total of 32 stations if both are equipped that way. The Amphenol interfaces on both of these devices has the same pinout as provided on Northstar BCM interfaces. Because of that, you can simply pull the Amphenol connector off of a Northstar or BCM digital station interface and connect it into the DSM-16 module or the Galaxy Express DSM-16P. From a rear view of the DSM-16, you can see that there is a single Ethernet port for connecting back to the Galaxy Mini from a call processing perspective and a 12 volt power supply jack. The Galaxy Express, each slot within the Galaxy Express has its own Ethernet interface, but they share a common 12 volt power supply. And finally, there's actually mounting holes on the bottom that are similar to the Galaxy Mini chassis that we just showed in the previous video. From a software perspective, as I mentioned earlier, the Galaxy Mini uses the same software used on all our other call processing platforms. That means that once you learn how to configure one platform, you know how to configure all of eMetrotel's breadth of systems. Watch for another video from eMetrotel on configuring some of the basic things like extensions, trunks, incoming and outgoing routes, ring groups, and shared call appearances. eMetrotel's implementation of shared call appearances allows simple square configuration to be achieved between multiple sets. So in conclusion, I think you'll find that the Galaxy Mini is the best tool available to address the small business market, particularly with respect to the still large installed base of North Star BCMs. We hope to be able to partner with you in reaching that market. Thank you.